I used to love the nightlife and hang out in a bar. I used to hit the bottom, but then I hit a car. I'm laid up in a wheelchair, paralyzed for life. Got money through a settlement to see me through the strife. My attitude is different now, the future's not so bleak. I even got a mansion and thrown it for free. It's my life, such as it is. Such as it is, such as it is. My seven friends are with me, they're brilliantly deformed. I got a girl called Franny, my shoulder from the storm. Don't touch your points of pity, the hard times never last. Without a leg to stand on, I still manage to kick ass. It's my life, such as it is. My life, such as it is. Such as it is. Paralyzed. That feels divine. <laughs> Turn over, please. <sighs> Blazer, I thought it was Lefty's day to do breakfast. Yeah, I heard him screaming bloody murder in the middle of the night. I figured somebody broke in and killed him. You forgot to put this in the toaster. What are you, paralyzed? Well, look who wasn't murdered. Morning. Not that I give a rat's ass, but you look like a rat's ass. And you just buttered the cat. Lefty? Looking bad? It's a good day to be blind. Have some Joe. The same dream as always. I'm back at my job as a massage therapist. I'm massaging a client when, when I, I realize, realize I've ripped her to shreds. Boo hoo, poor shredded woman. <laughs> there, there, man. I know a spot about dream interpretation. The hooks in your dreams, they represent the hooks on your hands. Wow, you're good. You miss working, the day-to-day -day challenges, the intellectual stimulation of the workplace. That rewarding feeling you get when you rub a big stringy knot out of someone's shoulders? Wank, wank! No, Spalding's right. A job gives us a sense of purpose. It makes us feel vital and alive. I'd miss it if I couldn't work at the bar. Never seen me babies. Belvedere vodka. Bombay gin. Daddy's little tequila. You know what I miss? The long hours and the low pay. Getting chewed out for a simple five-hour lunch. The whining co-workers. The tiny cubicles. Going a few thousand over on your expense account. The police <laughs> marching you through the office in handcuffs. Yep, I really miss it. Don't mind them dags, Lefty. They're putting up walls so they won't have to confront their own low self-esteem. I feel good about having no self-esteem. Doesn't that screw everything up? What happened to the proud men who used to live in this house? They moved out and we moved in. You don't take any pride in your appearance. This place is a mess. Cut us some slack. It's just breakfast. It's five o'clock in the afternoon. You need to get your confidence back. Lefty, I'm getting you a job. Yes, yes, an excellent idea. In fact, I'm going to get you all jobs. You and your big mouth. First stop, your job, Lefty. Oh, I can't wait. What is it? No, 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 don't tell me. I'm a salesman. No, 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 a bag boy. Does my hair look all right? How's my breath? I brought a little toothbrush, but... Somebody shut him up. It's way too early in the morning. Not exactly what I had in mind, but it's a start. I can work my way up. Mugu dim sum hook hands. Don't move. Must stay still. But I'm a people person. 
All of us at the Barely Breathing Retirement Home think you'll make a wonderful addition to our staff, Mr. O'Reilly. You're everything we're looking for in a fitness instructor. Fitness instructor? <laughs> I guess I should have mentioned it earlier, but I'm paralyzed from the neck down. Well, it's a rather low-impact workout. Basically, the goal is to keep them breathing. There are some old buggers here. That fella has to be from the Cretaceous period. We try not to use the word old. We prefer youth-impaired or age-enhanced. <laughs> oh, Johnson's flatlining. Fire up the paddles. Clear! So, you, you don't like the way these pants fit, huh? They sag at the knees and bag at the waist and bunch at the crotch. Gee, maybe it's because they weren't made for someone whose ass is the size of a Greyhound bus! Next! Come on, kids, let's get going. But, but. Butts are for sitting. Come on. <laughs> Shake your booty. It's a sexy senior duty. We're gonna rock, 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 Ooh, you want to return that hairpiece? Absolutely. It's terrible. It looks like a squirrel died on your head. You can spot that thing from Mars. Well, I'd like to return these bedroom slippers. I got it. I finally did it. Spicing up giant back bean sauce. Okay. You loser. Hey, boo-hoo. Come and find me. Here I am! Oh! Oh! Uh. <laughs> Nurse, get in here. Stop! Sorry? What a sorry looking bunch of creps. Why ain't you boys at home? We can't bear to face Spalding after today. I'll bet you could use a drink. <laughs> I can't even hold a stupid job. My life is meaningless. What's the point in going on? I don't feel bad, Lefty. We all got fired. Yes, but please take no offense. <laughs> you guys are dreadful losers. True. Sadly, too true. Honor these vows, or feel the vengeful wrath of his mighty sword as it strikes you down into the bowels of the band. Your womb eternally cursed with Satan's maggoty seed. See you next Sunday. Somebody throw some rice on the happy couple. Where are we going to get rice? Improvise. Ooh, I love a blushing bride. Look at this place. It's a gold mine. Church services, weddings, bingo. It's always packed. God really knows how to milk a good thing. He's just an overachiever. It's not enough he created the world. He still needs an audience. Look at me. Aren't I important? I'm God. Me, 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 me. Yeah, well, he pulls in the crowds. This place is always busy. Wait a minute. I know how we can become our own bosses and make a fortune. Of course! We form our own religion! No! Our big, beautiful, spacious home becomes party central for anyone with a bank account! Yeah! yeah. That's yeah. Yeah. And we split the money! Well, technically it was my idea. Obviously, I'm the only one with a social grace. Hey! I've got the head for numbers! I want these up all over town. Maimed Manor. Party till you puke. Oh, this new business has restored their faith in themselves. 
There's a million and three ways to scam money from these suckers. I don't want to miss one of them. Water in the booze. Stealing their wallets. Parking, catering. <laughs> Kick them in the head. Bite them. I love the news. Hello? Hello? It works better if it rings first. Hello? Yes, we're available. That's perfect. Our first booking, boys. We have liftoff. Okay, Biff, your turn. Thirty-five feet! That's a new record! But stand back! Give him some air! Oh, let me help you off with those pesky pants. Okay, all right. Group picture. <laughs> oh. Oh. Look at these greenbacks, boys. Let's kick this pig into high gear. Let's go, people. We're losing light here. Are you having trouble finding a place for your next social function? Main Manor to the rescue! Our mostly competent staff takes care of everything. You just relax, knock back a couple of stiff ones, and enjoy. I may not have a limb, but I'll go out on one for you. Call Main Manor the next time you need to get down. And cut! I smell Emmy! It wasn't me. Main Manor, please hold. Main Manor, please hold. Main Manor, please hold. We're booked for months. I can taste the money. And it tastes like a yacht off the coast of France. Come on, everybody. Let's get ready for tonight. Now, in keeping with the tradition, it's time for the circumcision. Allow me to help. <gasps> you could raise it as a girl. Come on, Fritz, Carl, you have to admit, he got a little carried away. He was misunderstood. You know, not many people know it. But Hitler's favorite hobby was knitting. The Fiora was a genius on the sewing machine. He made me a sweater with a bunny on it. But does I put that in the history books? Nine. The groom may now kiss the groom. Hooray! I caught it! I'm next! <laughs> you, you, you might want to check that bag. Hey, be a little more careful, you big idiot! Please, I just want to go to bed. Mort, Liz, uniformed officer. What an unexpected pleasure. What are you doing up at 3 a.m.? We're here on official business. We're shutting you down. Shutting us down? The traffic is a nightmare. There's loud music. We can't sleep. Several naked girls were passed out on our lawn. Poor Morty was traumatized. <laughs> Ha <laughs> ha!
And last night, someone urinated on Babette. Your dog? Our maid. No one urinates on Liz Bromberg's maid and gets away with it. This is zoned as a residential area. You can't run a business here. Let me see that thing. Bread, milk, latex, condoms, silly putty? Uh, wrong list. Just shut this thing down. It's all over! So, what do your three weeks of legal expertise tell you? You are the luckiest bunch of mangled freaks I've ever met! Bromberg put an office in his house a few years ago. This whole block was rezoned! They don't have a leg to stand on. Well, neither do you, but they can't shut you down. That's, That's right! right. Yes. Yes. Let's go tell them to make room in their colon for that lawsuit. <laughs> Gentlemen, let's think about this for a minute. Let's go kick some rich ass! It might not be wise to antagonise them. We still have to live and do business here. He's absolutely right. It'll make our lives easier to keep them on our side. Can't we all just get along? Okay, okay, we'll make peace. Why don't we send them out to a nice dinner on us? Splendid. I know just the place. Very trendy and chic. They'll love it. I can't believe they got reservations. People wait years to get in here. They've recreated an entire village in Eastern Europe. <laughs> Rumor has it, they imported bomb fragments to make it look authentic. I've died and gone to heaven. Now that's attention to detail. A little higher on the left. Who says I don't have a light touch with pastry? Mmm, <laughs> smell like a big ass cake. Let me see. Laser, is that you stuck in my ass? Quit fooling around. They're going to be here any minute. I don't get it. They should have been here hours ago. I don't see nothing. I hope they're okay. Hey, what if something happened to them? What can happen to them? They're Hell's Angels. You sure it was tonight, Blazer? Look, it's right here in my appointment book. See? Your twos sure look like threes. My twos do not look like threes! Apparently they do to Hell's Angels. <laughs> next door and anybody order a bunch of cripples no. no then we got us some new toys We're having a session. So, Snake, when your Harley was stolen, how did that make you feel? Who wants to play Battleship? That was fabulous. I couldn't eat another bite. I hope you saved room for dessert. Oh, here it comes. Chocolate-covered shrapnel. Oh, yum. That's more chili! Not me. Not me! You boys as amateurs. Good 
party, but let's get going, fellas. I, uh, I told Ma we'd be back by 11. You're cool? All right? Bastards! <sighs> I think we made some real progress. <laughs> Come on, we have to put this out! Well, this is gonna help. Finally, it's under control. Maybe they won't notice. Well, just, just try to get them to see the humor in this whole mishmash. Our beautiful house? Actually, it's a very funny story. You people are responsible for this. Relax, we'll fix it up. A uh, little spaggle, some duct tape, it look like new. At least to me. So, how was your meal? Morty, get our sleaziest lawyer on the phone! I have a better plan, dear! Let's kill them! <laughs> Spalding, open up! Walk their way! <laughs> Did you see his face? <laughs> I thought he was going to drop a log! <laughs> they seem much happier now. <laughs> our money? You threw them all our money? Um, listen, fellas. This was never about the money. Working was a way to restore our confidence. We've done that like a bunch of bandicoots up a burrow. Hold your heads up high, mates. Now we can get going on something new. I truly feel a lot better about myself. How about you, fellas? <laughs> <laughs>